counter corruption, people and the border guards here at the airport, because they conducted the sting operation together with the, the Hawks, and they, they caught uh, these 67 Pakistani nationals who are coming into the country. And uh, when asked questions exactly where they are going, who they are visiting, it's not very clear. Some of them made bookings in the hotel so that they can fill in the form that they are coming to a hotel, but they never go there. And the hotels around are complaining that they've got lots of people from Pakistan who make bookings, but they don't turn up. And uh, some will give the name of the hotel. And when we phone the hotel, they know nothing about such a person. Others will tell us about Pakistani relatives who are, they are visiting here. And when you try to get the phone numbers of those relatives, they draw a blank. So basically, they are just coming to South Africa. That's all I could say. And uh, coming to South Africa to do what way? That's a big question. We just have to turn them back. Very clearly, you can't have a person who is coming here not knowing what they are coming to do. Remember, this is a sting operation, and we're able to prove it. So you can't allow such people in the country. They just have to turn back. And uh, so I, am, I have instructed that they process them and send them back to Pakistan. There's no other way. You see, when you interview them, they give you a name of a person who they say is a cousin or a relative who they are visiting. And we ask for a phone number, they do give you those phone numbers. But when you give that person a different name, that person is supposed to be a cousin. You give them any name whatsoever, as long as that name belongs to a Pakistani. Say, yeah, yes, he's visiting me. Yeah, yes, I know him. Then when you check on their forms here, they have booked into hotels. Some of the hotels don't exist at all. Others, when you phone those hotels, they know they don't know anything about such a booking. Others, they book and they don't turn up, and some hotels have already complained that we have got people from Pakistan booking in, but not checking in. It, it, it means they are just booking in to show the immigration officials that I'm actually going to that hotel. When they are not going in, they are just going to the country to disappear. This thing, Operation Revealed 67, who came in one flight, which also, as you can see, is clearly a syndicate of people who are coming in, but there are 67. Last year on the 15th of June, I also rushed to the airport this time of the night, just like I'm doing today, because there were some Pakistani nationals, if you remember, were trying to escape into the country via uh, 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 you know, during transit, yes. they've got transit visas to visit neighboring countries, but they disappear into the country using fire hydrants, passages for fire hydrants. You remember that story. Now, uh, we decided that we, we now are forced to demand a transit visa for anybody from Pakistan. That's what we did. Now, this is a new trend, and we are going to have to find a way to deal with this new trend. There's no question about it.